fix my camera. Actually, the camera looks decent. What the? It's freezing. All right, let's do this. Anyways, what's up guys? So in today's video, um, there's this showcasing for this game called v uh, Vigor or something like that. It's a free beta that's going on right now. What's well, a beta, but it's a public beta. It's a um, FPS uh, battle royale type of game, but it's mo mostly but it still looks like a pretty cool game, so I thought, why not give it a try? We're going to be doing the uh, tutorial, and after that, I'm probably going to end this stream, and then start up another one, showing off some actual PvP, what that's all about. Um, how it is, is whatever you loot throughout the whole map, once you die, you lose it all, and the player gets to keep it. Um, the idea is to jump into a PvP match, right? Player versus player, grab all the loot you want, Find an X point on the map, which is a small map, and then you can extract all that and leave, and you take it back to your base, and that's where you store all the stuff, if that makes any sense. But if you kill other online players, you can possibly win that game. But once you leave, you leave that game in that lobby and everybody else. So, But yeah, there is a battle royale in this. Once you kill everybody, you do win the game. If you can find everybody, that is. Um, it's only 8 players on a map until they do another update, and it'll be 16 players on the map. But it's a free-for-all. It's it's literally every man for themselves. You know what I mean? Like, it's not duos, or you can't do duos yet. They haven't added it because it's a beta. There's no duos. There's no squads. It's just straight solo. But this is Vigor, I guess. So, let's do this. This is just a game preview. We're going to test it out. And see where it goes. Dude's just laying there. What the hell? Are you okay there, buddy? Oh, character customization. Jason Statham. Kind of reminds me of. Now, I'm gonna go with this guy. I'm not gonna look at him all. I just wanna. I just wanna pick pick this guy. Have you guys ever played of um Turkoff or something like that? It's a battle. Oh. Instantly, we just choose the face and we're ready to go. Okay. He didn't really vault, he just jumped. The fire, the sounds, holy shit. Like, you can hear the fire. So you can go prone, it's, it's just like any other Battle Royale type game. Kind of reminds me of the playstyle, like, um, Sniper Elite. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. I think I'm supposed to go that way, but I'm looking around. Um, it is a survival game, so, you know, do loot. Alright, it's, yeah, the objective is to go this way. I, I, I kind of had a feeling it was this way. Okay, the tutorial will continue from this point in the future. At the moment, feel free to explore the environment. You may even find some valuable loot. Press up to open your map. When you want to advance, leave the area via the exit, which is that marker it shows right there. It's kind of like an X in a way, or like a camp type thing with a plus. It's like two sticks, you know, like symbolizing campfire or something, I guess you could say. Because it doesn't really look like an X for an exit. So we press up. Okay, so we are here, right? The exit is way the fuck over there. So, it, it is a pretty decent size, size of a map. Oh, shit, there's loot here. Open and shelter... Wait, open and shelter reward screen to get valuable items. 
Okay, how do you how do you how do you do that? Okay, I, I don't know how you access your loadout. It's not that bad, though. The, gr the graphics look really nice. I like that. Alright, for some reason we can't open that box, so we're gonna wait. Maybe we'll get to open it a little later. So, let's go around collecting stuff, I guess. I mean, it, it's a survival, so let's see what we can do. I, d I don't know. It's not exactly like your typical Fortnite, you know? Smack a tree down, go from there. No, nothing like that. You can't even punch. It's weird. So A is a jump, B is a crouch, X and Y, they don't do jack shit. Oh, R1 does. R1 changes your... Or not R1, RB. Sorry, use the PlayStation. RB... Changes your your style, I guess. It says something about finding a loot, but I haven't. I've only found that box. That's it. Like I don't know what I'm supposed to look for, like to collect. Water slows down your movement. Okay. There's a shack over here. Now there might be valuables in here. He just falls right off. Ah, there we go. Wait. You can't loot this? Oh, it, it glows. To symbolize you can loot it. Oh, so we got some, like, wooden parts. I guess you can build your base this way? By collecting material? It's the way it, it, it seems, that is. I could, I could be totally wrong. So we're just going to go around, see what we can collect. It doesn't look like a whole lot, really. I mean, I'm probably missing some things, but, I mean, it's my first time playing it, so... You know, this is a tutorial. So... Who knows? This video on YouTube later, so if you guys see this on YouTube, uh, if you guys enjoy this video, drop a like. Um, subscribe if you want. Drop a dislike if you feel like it. If you don't like the style of this game... Whatever your reason may be, if you don't like me, I don't want- I don't fucking know what your excuse is. Alright, so we're getting close to the exit. I think I'm just gonna exit, because, like, it's, it's kind of boring. We, we don't even have a gun, and I don't even know where the fuck to go. They didn't really do much for the tutorial, honestly. Yeah, see, exits across this bridge. This game is very pretty, though. I like that. It's really pretty. Alright, so here's the exit. It actually shows you where to go. Okay. So, Outlander, here are some useful tips. You need to go and scavenge for valuable items. Use the world map to enter an encounter, but be aware of other Outlanders. There are some things left by the... Oh, so there's the weapons and the ammo and the consumables. Okay. By the previous owners. Okay, so there are some things left by the previous owners. People that you kill, etc. Or people that are already dead, but their bodies didn't get fully looted. Stuff was left behind. You can grab it. It's kind of like in Fortnite. When you, know, you kill somebody, or you know, steal their loot. Or if later on, people kill other people, and they don't take all the loot. Because they can't carry you know, a certain amount of things. You know? I only carry up to like five slots, you know what I'm saying? Um, anyways, they are in the stash. Go check them out. Okay, so we got some stuff in the stash. Look for the airdrops, which is the thing we picked up, by the way, and avoid radiation. When you have looted the airdrops, other outlanders can regularly see your position. So if you loot it, they know where the fuck you're at. Holy shit. If you die, you will lose your equipment. Leave the encounter when you have had enough to save your loot. Okay, okay. A self-sufficient survivor is a happy survivor. Upgrade your shelter, make improvements, and rip, reap the benefits. So it's a survival game. Okay, so an approximate location of the airdrop landing zone is the 
displayed on your in your map as a red circle. Okay, loot is found in some furniture, cars, and highlighted objectives. Okay, so the radiation will come in the area from the direction displayed in your map. Oh, so it's kind of like this similarities with Fortnite or PUBG, etc. H1Z1 and all that. When the airdrop lands, it is displayed in your map and compass as a red box, which is what we see on the screen. So that's what that was. The player who is carrying the airdrop is regularly displayed in your map and compass as a yellow box. That's kind of stupid. Uh, why would they do that? When you are inside the radiation, the sound indication changes. Your view blurs and your maximum health is de decreasing. Holy shit. I'm not going for drops. I mean, I'm 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 sorry, but no. Oh, I could have pressed A there. What the fuck was there? A or maybe want me to climb. I don't know if A or X. I, I couldn't pay attention to see what that was. But the graphics are insane. Is that a Tommy gun? What is that? It looks like a PPSH. That literally looks like a PPSH forty one. Could be. This looks like our uh, our camp area. So this whole area, we own this whole property in the game. Cool, big property. Um, what can we do here? Oops. So they give you a knife, four guns, or four pistols. They have snipers in this game? They have more shotguns than anything. Mosin, that is a sniper rifle. That Mo Mosin Nagant, it's in, uh, this This takes place in, I think in World War One or World War Two. But this weapon here is in fact a sniper. If you play Battlefield 1, you would, you would know that. All right, so we don't have any of those, but they did give us some stuff, so. Ooh, craft. Gather parts, create blueprints, start crafting. Cost 800 of... I don't even know what the fuck that is. Crafting time, one minute. Oh, our supplies are... Okay, I know where the supplies are at, but I gotta... I gotta move something real quick. More options... There's our supplies. Okay. Outlands. Oh, this is how you travel to other places. Ooh, so they rotate, because you can't go to the snow map right now. These are different areas. Okay. And this is where we, uh, our shelter, where we're at. Alright. Anyway, one way, one way. Um. Wait, 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 what did I just do? It will generate eight materials per hour. Oh, so it takes nails and wire. Oh, that's our build level. So these are okay. Right? Am I reading this right? No, no. This is a wood log level one. Collect it regularly. It is placed next to the shelter on the south side. Um, crafting ta table tools. Next upgrade. Crafting by 1%. Scrap bin. Ooh, electric generator. So you can have place in the basement. So you can have electricity. So we need to go get wire. A lot of wire. 50. Fuel. Mm, 50 metal parts. Jesus. So nothing else. We can only fuck with this stuff. Stove. We'll decrease cost of consumables by 1%. 
so we're gonna need a lot of metal parts fuel we already got chemicals 25 out of 20. we need nails fertilizer for this box for hers collect it really it is placed next to the east door two materials per hour customize uh, he's fine the way he is possible content wouldn't create oh see so what we got from the drop okay the controller vibrated when I did that. We had a a a seven four k. So we got three of those, twenty nails, and five hundred materials. Oh, so it crosses out what you can't get next. So it's like duplicates. So now we we can when we get more, we'll get twenty nails, shotgun, scorpion, pill looking things, fifty of those, or a thousand of those. Okay. So now that we got 500, can we actually craft anything? No. We got nails, we need wire. Coming soon. Stores coming soon. Oh, this is where your healables are. I have no- Oh, you don't start out with ammo. You actually have to- What? They don't give you ammo to, in the beginning? Oh, that is so unfair. This is literally survival to like... To like the next level. Jesus. Well, anyways, guys, this is part one, but I am going to end the stream, and we're going to continue off in the next stream. Stay cheesy.